Hi, Caleb with Brownouts here. Back again with Paul from FM Products. And today, Paul, we're going to be stirring a little, stirring the pot a little bit. We're going to be com- we're going to be comparing the AR and AK, uh, but not just comparing them. You've you've combined them a little bit. So now we're going to compare and combine. Yes. I'm just going to let you take it from here. So one of the, one of the things we saw, you know, we we knew that the the Gen 2 operating system would work well in a in a in an AK variant. We we did well with that. And one of the things we realized is that AK consumers don't really have an easy way to lock the bolt back, which you get for free with an AR-15. Right. You know. Um, so uh, we've got a young uh, young engineer who had worked for us for a number of years. Uh, we used to work together at uh, Wilson Combat. A guy named Neil Trout, and he helped us develop uh, something called a slap mod. And the slap mod is basically to put an MP5 style charging handle on an AK variant, which would allow you to lock it back and then slap it to make ready. Okay, we call gonna, it slap mod. I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend like that. I'm gonna pretend like slap mod's not the coolest name I've ever heard, and that I'm not excited about this. And I'm just gonna let you continue. Can I show you? Uh, you please do. All right. So basically, of course, it's easier when it's shouldered, but you know, if you're not shouldering it, it's hard to get leverage. But right. it allows you to. You can HK slap you can your AK slap your. Your, a- HK slap your AR AK right. AK AR yeah. exactly. So this this was a big hit. Like we uh, we always like to trick consumers into doing our product testing. So we did our AK testing at Red October and uh, Clash Bash, and then we went to Lethal Weapons Texas and we did our production testing on our slap mod handguard. But nobody knew that we ran it for days on end and it worked well. Um, it really was contingent upon us getting the right parts made out of steel and we wanted it to be strong. And, yeah. Uh, I see you liking this. Yeah, so th- <laughs> I mean it's more than it's more than just a gun. This is a this is a whole vibe. It is a vibe. So let me move my coffee out the way before I spill it again. Um, yeah. So Oh my goodness. I want to I want to shoot it like left and right-handed. Yeah, I'm I'm a fan of where you're going with this. Wow. So as I can see, it is it is ambidextrous. So if I wanted to switch it over, that'd be hundred percent, hundred percent, super easy. All you um, got to do is all you do is take this and flip it around, and then you put the handle on the other side. Easy enough. Yeah. Man. So yeah, this. I mean, you got the AK mag going on here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the whole HK slap. Yeah. On an AR-15, that's taking AK mags. It's just, it's. It's kind of blowing my mind right now. And you know what? It's we really we want this to be a cost of of thing for for consumers to add as an upgrade, and we're going to try our best to get this as a standalone unit to consumers for ninety nine dollars. Okay, so and, if you already have an FM upper, yep, you can just upgrade it to the the. the it'll come assembled. Okay. And it'll come with a Torx bit. So you just take a standard screwdriver. You loosen these two screws. You slide on the new handguard, tighten the two screws down. You're ready to go. Easy Super enough. easy installation. Installation. So I think this is going to be a winner for us, um, and it's it's an it's an obvious upgrade for a guy with a AK variant. Yeah. So um, all I need to say at this point is I want one. Okay. Uh, I know a guy. I yeah, know a guy. You know what? Great. I I want you to be skeptical. We need to get you a thirteen nine out. We need to get you out there shooting it. Tell us okay, what well you then, think. I might want one. Okay. Is what I'll change. Thirteen nine. Yeah. I'll, I'll, you just need to pick a muzzle device, Caleb, oh and okay. we'll take care of the rest. Awesome. Yeah. So I mean, this is. Like I said before, this it's a whole vibe, you know. Yeah. Pulling the AK mag out the plate carrier, yeah. loading it in, HK slapping, yeah. running some some drill. You know, it's just it's it's funny if you go on our uh, social media and our, you'll see a lot of people doing the slap. It's at the at the events we've gone to. It's a really fun thing. Um, we've done a lot of testing with it at uh, Lethal Weapons Texas. It was a great show for us, um, and we're very excited. So the the last step for us is just to get this part injection molded. Um, we're probably about 45 days away on that, and we'll be we're already producing the handguards and all the other parts right now. And you know, I know who will get them first. Awesome. Brown else. Awesome! I can't wait. Yeah, I'm gonna be slapping these things like Wayne Brady. Give, give us 60 days, and we'll have them on the market for you all to carry. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, we're excited. We're excited about this. Awesome. And then, uh, you know, since there's a, th- this is also coming in X39. It is. It is coming in an X39. So, so we're do- eight, I know there's some dudes out there. You want to HK slap your X39? Well, look, look, we we can't do it the old. That's a great question you asked. We can't do it the way. How can I say this diplomatically? We don't want to put a 762 by 39 cartridge in a 556 bolt. 
Right. We want to do. We want to give it the, the, a strong bolt and barrel extension deserving of the round. So we came up with something that we patented that's a very stout bolt and barrel extension to be able to deliver that. I'm very glad you said that. So that, that was going to be my next question. It's like, what are you kind of doing to convert the, the 7.6239? And uh, it sounds like you, you're... you Got a very, you know, you want the lugs to be thicker. Right. You know, you want them to be stout. The, the problem is, is you've eaten up, as you open up that, that diameter of that bolt face for the cartridge to live in, you really start tearing into the real estate of the lugs. Right. Which is why you see them fail there. Yeah. And so, that, that's, that's one thing a lot of, you know, earlier, earlier when companies were doing the conversions, that, that was one of the things that a lot of them did wrong. Um, and it was a, it was a learning process. Well, the they were they work. They just don't last as long as we'd like them to. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and, which in, in in my book, if it doesn't last, it's not working. So. Agreed. <laughs> agreed. So we we really thought about that a lot. Um, we are making our own barrel extension to produce this for the first time. You know, we we like to draw things in to make for ourselves. One of the last things would be barrel extensions, and to do this right, we had to do it for ourselves. Yeah. So for right now, it's just the uh, the. FM-102, which takes AK-102 mags. If you're not familiar, the AK-101 and AK-102 are 556 versions of the AK. Right. And uh, this will take uh, this will take their mags. Yep. And then we're gonna the next thing will be an X-39. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna do the slap mod, and then we'll do the X-39. And shortly thereafter. Just to be clear, because we've been drooling on AK stuff, the slap mod is for 556 as well. Yes. The, the standard Either. like FM-15. Agreed. So. Well, you're right. It is. It, but you also have a bolt stop. You have a we. The real benefit to an AK guy is now they can lock the bolt back. Right. Which is complicated for an AK. Yeah, and I know like some of y'all may want the slap mod on your Air AR-15, 15, um, which y you can do it. You just Probably it, should remove the bolt release. You should remove the bolt because then you you have you, yeah, you have you to gotta, like you have to hit the bolt release and then like slide. <laughs> it's silly. If you remove your bolt bolt release, maybe we can make like a filler or something that goes in there. Good idea. I like it. Like a slap slap. This, this is the, I didn't even thought about this till yeah. we spoke, but that's a great idea. I think there's a market for it for an AR guy. Yeah. But it's really for an AK. The AK guy really benefits. Right. Because they get to lock it back. Yeah. Because you know? your standard AK doesn't have a. a, a and you get to slap it. And you get to slap it. Just who doesn't want that? Everybody wants to slap it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Do you it, think that the slap mod is gonna stick? I think the, the name slap slap mod. Yeah, it's called the slap mod. That's what we'd like to call I, it. Yeah, and that's what I'm gonna. Okay. Always, even if you change the name, it's it's always gonna I'm be the slap, gonna the slap mod to you. Okay, got yeah. it. Got it. I like the Wayne Brady mod. Or, yeah, exactly. The I Wayne don't know. Whatever you want to call. it. There may be some like uh, Caleb. That's fantastic. Going, uh, yeah, we'll know. call it the Wayne. That'll be the hashtag. Ha hashtag hashtag Wayne, Wayne Brady when we when we <laughs> release it. <laughs> oh man, Paul. Okay, I'm excited. So, yeah, I think we pretty much covered all of it. Yeah, we I did. Think we're good we to did. go. Uh, hey man, been a pleasure, Caleb. Uh, uh, Brown else, uh, we can't thank you much enough. Uh, we are in debt to you, and uh, we're really excited to go on this journey with you guys. I think we got a winner here. Yeah, I, I think so too. Uh, I look forward to the kind of stuff we're going to come up with in the future and uh, look forward to seeing what, what FM does. So thanks for coming out. No, my pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, thanks, Brownells. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.